What's going on everyone? My name is JX and welcome back to the channel. Today we have March's confirmed characters. Um, I am very surprised. I really thought it was going to be Peter and Bill and a female champion who, a sorceress, because, you know, I was like, you know, it's Peter and Bill, they're teasing him with, 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 you know, with the mystery synergies. It's, you know, you know, International Women's Month, so we've tend to get uh, female champions that month uh so i was like definitely they, they said it was obvious and it wasn't obvious um but nonetheless you know it is what it is it's the first time i'm wrong both times all right the streak is over my four-year streak is over but hey these are two characters i am actually really excited about um growing up i really loved thor comics um I, I always, you know, Thor was some of the characters who had some just really cool comics, uh, you know, in his original, you know, like Journey to Myst into the Mystery, just some really dope comics. I, lo I always loved the art style. I always loved Jack Kirby comics. Um, Fear Itself was a comic as well that I read, which we'll talk about, and they were just really cool. They were just so, like, badass. Like, they were just awesome. Uh, and so this actually makes me excited uh, because this has to do with, you know, Adrasil, the World Tree. Um, obviously, if you guys don't remember the teaser for the month, um, it basically was... The blank and the blank for the event quest name. It has to do with Idrisol Tree. Squirrel will be part of the event. Um, they said it was quite obvious. And it was a mystic and a cosmic. Um, and so, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we like I said, we thought it was Peter Ravel, which I hope he's around the corner. Uh, I'll talk about that later. But, yeah, we're going to break down the comic book characters of these two characters. I mean, we will talk about the MCU Destroyer. But, yeah, I mean, this is a cool event. Like I said, I love Thor comics, so I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for this. Um, Squirrel kind of being right at Tosker is going to, I think is going to play an importance because, uh, obviously if you guys don't know, if you guys, you do know the Troy armor, you probably don't know who this guy in black hair and black beard with this, um, I don't remember why his, 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 his strange hammer. Um, <laughs> he is Cole Boar's son. He is the son of Boar and the brother of Odin. Uh, he is the God of fear. Yeah, the God of Fear. So this guy is pretty interesting. He only showed up in Fear Itself. I think he's had some subsequent appearances, but Fear Itself is like his big comic. It was like a big like thing, like what, 10 years ago? Um, where basically there was like this prophecy that Odin was like trying to keep a secret and uh, it came through that the serpent, he, the Cole showed up and started, you know, you know, putting out these magic hammers that were possessing people and giving them power-ups, like the Juggernaut, like Titania, Absorbing Man, um, the Thing, like plenty of characters. I think when Absorbing Man was coming out, they were kind of teasing a Fear Itself character um, with a Tuma. Yeah, Tuma is what it was. Uh, a Tuma and Absorb Man had, that, had those synergies. So it didn't seem like they were teasing an event, just kind of that connection. So again, it was like a little confusing on, on this coming through, but nonetheless. Uh, Cole is a really cool character. Obviously, he showed up and uh, he was, you know, like I said, Fear Itself. Um, let's show him in the comics. So you can turn into like a dragon or a serpent, which is awesome. He is very much magic his powers are very much magic induced, um, kind of like Odin. Uh, so I expect him in the cosmic class. These two characters, you know, the, you know, the story armor and Cole both are mad. They're both cosmic beings, technically, or cosmic born beings, <laughs> but made like with mystic powers. But I sure the story armor will be mystic. Um, Cole basically, okay. So Cole's in the comics, basically when he was young, uh, he's the oldest brother, but when he was young, he basically was like frail because he needed to feed off of fear and he really couldn't do that in that in Asgard at the time. And they kind of just left him and he kind of got like put into a prison because, you know, he, he wants fear, you know, it's kind of evil. He's kind of like, he's kind of like Loki. He's more like comic. He's more mythology accurate Loki in that sense. Um, and he was freed by, I think Red Skull's daughter who was possessed, um, who kind of awakened him. And basically, Cole just kind of goes through with fear itself and starts, you know, throwing hammers everywhere um, and kind of raises an army. Uh, he's got some really cool powers. Like, he basically has a fully mi mystic powers um, because he can do energy blasts. He can do force fields. He can raise the dead uh, like Hela can do. Um, he has the hammers, and he basically feeds off of fear like this is whole thing if he can't feed off fear he's weak if he can he's really powerful um i think i'm sure he's going to use the world tree to f you know feed off of fear and become the most powerful that's just how i expect the villain trope <laughs> to be the next month um but yeah he, he's a cool character um just a 
I'm interested to see what Kabam do. Um, he's, he seems to be based off the dragon that eats the roots of the world tree. So a Nidhogg, if you guys play God of War Ragnarok, you remember fighting that dragon. Um, and, you know, with Skorgul being in the event, being red at Oscar, I think it's a really funny event uh, or a really fun analogy to, to the... To the to to North mythology because I love mythology, uh, so that's why I'm really cool. And yeah, I'm excited to see. We do have quite a few characters like uh, Mangok who feeds off of hate. Um, uh, we have um, well, I think doesn't Danny as well a little bit of fear with her powers. Um, we have Psycho Man with his control box, and I think another character. Just I'm forgetting off the top of my head. But yeah, so I, it definitely seems like emotions have are coming kind of coming through character designs, and I, I'm really excited to see. Um, but that's about it for Cole. He kind of was defeated in Fear itself, and like I said, only showed up in like two comics afterwards. Uh, but yeah, it definitely I can see why Kabam chose him. Uh, I definitely would have uh, prefer preferred a little easier of a tease, Kabam. <laughs> you kind of making you know kind of making predictions kind of hard. <laughs> I gotta say. Uh, but nonetheless, the Destroyer are armor is the other character um basically a mystic imbued armor i mean it was created by odin basically to match the celestials which you know is is like insane like i, I remember like i remember rereading these comics um not too long ago because i wanted to go through and look at a lot of jack kirby thor comics and just look at the beautiful artwork and dude the destroyer armor is like so awesome man like obviously it showed up in thor one the movie um and, and, it, and it's just insane it's invulnerable which is you know why it's so powerful it has energy manipulation so it's like capable of firing like a bunch of energy destructive power um it can shatter planets like it's intense heat plasma antimatter magnetic force it can slice through thor's hammer like i don't like people realize how powerful this armor set i'm sure it's gonna be nerfed you know you know quantic you know coincidentally for you know kabam uh you know to fit in the battle realm so it's not oh like too powerful you know but yeah dude it's so cool man like this armor is really dope um and um yeah so it was its origin was it was created as a mystic armor that could contain vast amounts of god's energies in order to battle the celestials um and it's unknown like it's made of unknown metal with uru and enchantments and and yeah it was just the most powerful thing odin pretty much ever created <laughs> like mold is pretty powerful but it hasn't been defeated as much as this as destroyer armor um i think there's like if you guys read um secret wars the tie-in comics with uh with maestro maestro has this and god emperor dune just it doesn't matter like god emperor dune just wipes through it and that's like the only time i think it ever got defeated in one fell swoop <laughs> um but yeah, it's more powerful than Uru and Adamantium, so it's it's just it's just really cool. Uh, another thing is it actually showed up in Marvel Realm of Champions. So I'm really interested because if you guys don't know, Interstell and in, in Marvel Con Champions is built on Battle World. It got replanted on Battle World. So I'm I'm really curious if we're actually gonna get finally get an, an Emra connection because besides the Chrono Serpents, you know, his Ouroboros team. Emrock's ending doesn't really go anywhere. It only sh like only the villains show up, and and I'm I've always been sad about that because like I know obviously Gabe Frazier left, but I always felt like it should be justified that Emrock ended by saying they're all going to the contest, and we've seen none of them. <laughs> we've seen no one. Um, so I'm really hoping this event does. I'm not I'm not expecting it, but Beta Ray Bill was an Emrock, guys. Like I don't know if you guys understand this, but Beta Ray Bill, Beta Ray Bill, Throg, um, like the Destroyer armor was literally a playable, like was the playable Thor. He had the Destroyer armor. I mean, guys, like I really hope we get an Emrock, some type of you know just saying of what happened. You know, War Thor would be a cool appearance. I doubt it, dude, but. I, you know, as someone who read Thor comics growing up, I am, I really, I'm really hyped for this event. Um, I, I, I do hope Bill even gets a tease. I, I, I really am. Um, I'm excited to see the two characters. Fear Itself was a great comic and Destroyer Armor was so many cool appearances, man. I, like Kid Loki has in the comics at some point um like so many other people do like i said and it's just so awesome and i'm really excited to see and read the dialogue for next month uh you know also my birthday month in march <laughs> all right guys but i think it's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know who, what you think about these two characters um i really am excited and um yeah, were you surprised about these two characters? Are you disappointed? Uh, are you hyped? Uh, just let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.